Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. It's going to be focused on your love life. Okay, so the first card that I'm looking at is indicating to me that some of you are feeling a little bit fatigued and stressed out about something. So I feel like with this particular card, it's difficult to deal with, especially with the energies. I'm sensing that, you know, in terms of your love life, things might be a little bit complicated, a little bit complex, a little bit difficult to deal with. And this is not how you imagined it. This is not how you wanted for it to be especially in your love life so i am picking up strain i'm picking up some difficult energies i'm picking up that you might not know how to basically deal with what is going on right the next card is showing to me that someone is being very quiet very distant hard to reach hard to read you know, I feel like there's a lot of questions on your mind. There's a lot of thoughts on your mind. There's a lot of things that you're thinking about. And these are things that are making you feel incredibly worried, incredibly stressed out. So there is that energy of the future being uncertain. I'm sensing that some of you could be having your doubts, your fears, your worries, things that are coming to surface, things that you're unable to deal with. And this could be deeply emotional for you. You know, it could be a very emotional time in terms of your love life, not knowing, you know, how to deal with your feelings, not knowing how to deal with your emotions. There is that, you know, sort of indication from the cards. The next card I'm looking at is showing to me that there's this element of frustration. You know, some of you might be feeling so frustrated with your love life. It might be difficult to deal with. You might be feeling as if you don't know which way to turn. You know, what is the path that you should follow in respect of your life since there's so much uncertainty in the air? I feel like at one point you were working very, very hard on a relationship. Perhaps even, you know, a situation in your love life. You were really putting in the effort, the energy, the time. And I'm sensing that, you know, it might have gotten a little bit difficult to deal with because you might have felt as if the person you're dealing with is not reciprocating your sort of effort. And I'm seeing things, you know, in the future sense, falling apart, falling apart in a massive way in which, you know, you don't have much power or control of it. So I sense that, you know, there's this energy of, you know, feeling as if things are just falling apart, it feels daunting, it feels catastrophic, it feels difficult to deal with, you don't know how to pick up the pieces, you don't know what to do in respect of this particular situation. I see that a lot of you are hoping to make, you know, a relationship work, right? So I'm picking up that you still have a very deep and strong attraction for someone. There's someone that is uh, in your heart. You know, this could be somebody that you've known for some time. There is this energy of this individual being, you know, uh, a person that uh, you want to be romantically involved with. Somebody that you want to be in a relationship with. And I see that you're hoping to be married to this person or to be in an intimate relationship with them right so there is that indication from the cards coming up and i feel like you know if you've been dealing with a relationship that hasn't really been going in that direction if there's been uncertainty i do see 
that there's a chance to clear the air, right? But it's going to take a very different strategy than what is being used right now. So if some of you are going through a tumultuous time or a time of uncertainty and not knowing, you know, what your love life holds for you, just know that, you know, things can improve. It depends on how you really, you know, handle your life, how you really move forward in respect of your sort of vision for your love life. So I do see that for many of you, there's uncertainty, but there's also, you know, the potential turnaround of a difficult situation. So let's look at this energy of someone, you know, being either quiet or not communicating. I see that there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of uncertainty, right? But I also feel like, you know, amidst all of that, you shouldn't really, you know, feel such a sense of conflict. There are a lot of worries, regrets, fears. It could be dating to a situation where you know, someone wanted more from you or expected more from you and it didn't work out in the way that, you know, they planned for it. There's this energy of this individual feeling a sense of, um, you know, sadness over something. So I feel like the two of you could be carrying that energy with one another and it could be really, you know, difficult to deal with. One of the other energies I'm noticing is that um, in respect of the situation, you know, it might be hard for you and uh, this person concerned to try to fix things that have been uh, deeply broken or, you know, I feel like things are just uh, difficult at this point of time. What I'm noticing is, you know, there might be a need for the two of you to take some time out. Let's see with respect to this other energy. I feel like you have a lot of doubts with regard to a certain person. there might have been a relationship that ended someone may have walked away right so what i'm picking up is things falling apart and feeling a sense of stress about the way things are and how frustrating it is right so let's get some messages from the oracle cards So the end of the top cycle approaches, right? Emotions are running high and a new start is coming. For some of you, this can mean so much. It can mean that you're getting out of a difficult relationship, a difficult marriage. It can mean that you're leaving behind things that are no longer good for you or make you feel a sense of happiness. There's so much energy connected here and it's all connected to you know, you finding out what you want from your love life and uh, moving towards that. I'm sensing that, you know, there's this energy of um, new beginnings. There's this energy of fresh new starts. And, uh, you know, how you choose to approach it is going to be completely up to you. You know, for some of you, you might be ready to move forward in your life, but that means 
moving away from certain things that are not healthy for you, certain things that haven't been assisting you to get you where you want to. I do feel like some of you are looking for love. There's a possibility that there's someone that is already a part of your world and there's a possibility of having that. So if you've been dealing with particularly, okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I'm picking up those energies uh, very strongly, there will be a potential reunification there, you know, someone from the past, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you want a personal one, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.